Do you need a compact, professional solution for removing excess moisture and drying wet areas? The DryEase Revolution Dehumidifier is the right choice. This contractor grade dehumidifier doesn't take up much storage space, yet it can dehumidify both large and small areas, up to 16,000 cubic feet. It also fits where others can't, crawl spaces, bathrooms, closets, and won't be in the way in high traffic places. But don't be fooled by its size. This compact dehumidifier delivers a greater drying performance than many dehumidifiers twice its size. It can pull up to 17 gallons of moisture per day from damp or flooded areas. Water condensed from the air is automatically pumped out through a 40-foot drain hose, so there's no water receptacle to empty, no pump to perch, no hassle. Always operate the dehumidifier in a horizontal position in an enclosed area. Keep windows and doors closed. If drying after a leak or flood, start by removing as much standing water as possible. Place the dehumidifier in the wet area, making sure not to block the air intake and outlets. Unstrap the power cord. Attach the female power plug to the power socket on the base of the unit. Then attach the pronged plug into a standard grounded outlet on a 15 amp circuit. The Revolution uses 6.2 amps. Next, set up the clear drainage hose. Attach the quick connect end securely to the drain outlet tube on the base of the dehumidifier. Unwind the hose and put the open end securely into a sink, toilet, or tub, anywhere where water can safely be drained. And you can do this up to 20 feet above the dehumidifier. Make sure the hose has no kinks and is unobstructed. Use the menu buttons to scroll through performance and setup information to reset and to purge the pump. Use the menu button to advance to the humidistat option. Make sure to set the humidistat off or on, depending on how you're using it. If you are fast drying a damp area, use the arrow key to turn the humidistat off so that the dehumidifier is operating at full capacity. When using the dehumidifier for ongoing humidity control, turn the humidistat on, then press the arrow key to set the target relative humidity percentage. On a regular basis, check the inlet and outlet readings displayed on the control panel. The outlet reading should show higher temperatures and lower humidity percentages than those for the inlet. If the inlet temperature is at or below 60 degrees Fahrenheit, consider adding heat to promote proper drying. Once drying is complete, turn the dehumidifier off, but do not unplug it. The unit will go through a shutdown process to dry the internal coils, then finish with a purge of the pump. Once complete, disconnect the power and drain hose. Coil them and reattach them to the top of the Revolution. Always use a dry ease dehumidifier with dry ease blowers for faster, more efficient drying. The blower promotes evaporation from wet materials and the dehumidifier removes the moisture from the air to allow materials to truly dry.